Hello everyone, Prof Mike Green here. I wanted to do a video on the uh, instructions for uh, Project Zero. Uh, just quickly walking through them because uh, it's a little different than the work we've done thus far. So first step is kind of similar. Head over to Slack and join a P0 JavaScript channel there. Um, you can always you know, view all the channels by clicking channels there. It's a bunch. Um, but in here we've got a GitHub Classroom link that we can click. Oh, that's the wrong browser. That we can we'll copy and paste to Firefox here. And that will do the normal process for creating a new GitHub repository for me for this assignment. Nothing different there. If I click the link here, it can be taken to that. And we can see that's got a couple more files in it there. So good. So next, we're going to head over to glitch.com. And I am rewriting a couple of things in here to make it a little bit more clear. Um, but let's go over to glitch.com. And I want to, um, a couple of you have pointed this out. Make sure that you're logged in as your GitHub user, because uh, sometimes uh, it logs you out, and um, that just makes things a little extra confusing. You can also click where it says anonymous here and say my name is Michael. Um, anyway, so now uh, we can click new project, hello web page, and it's going to uh, you know do the random naming there but what we want to do is this is a little different this time we're going to click the name up here click advanced options and if you if you don't have these uh, buttons if they're grayed out you're going to have a button that says click uh, to get grant uh, access and you want to go ahead and do that and that's what these steps are right here you'll authorize um, that and what you're going to do once you do that you can come back through this and um, well, I can even, I can revoke it, and then I will just walk you through that process. So if it looks like this, and it's grayed out, we just click Grant Access. And since I've already done that, it, it knows who I am, but it'll bring up a screen that'll say, Hi, uh, GitHub person, do you want to authorize Fog Creek to get access to your GitHub account? And you just approve it there. Now you can come down here under Advanced Options, and click import from github and what you want to do is come back over here let me refresh and there is this right here this is the repository it just created for us so i'm going to copy that and we're going to paste that in here so itp175 fa18 p0 dash that'll be the same and then this will be this last bit after the hyphen will be your username and you tell it OK and it should import all of so you notice now it refreshed all the stuff on the left is different it overwrote it it pulled in all the files from the github repository into glitch and now you can see all the different exercises and the index and the instructions which are you know the same that's what we're working on over here. So now I can scroll down here and say we have uh, completed step six. We can begin working on the project. So we can open up step one, read the instructions that are in the comment here, and then down here at the bottom we can you know, give ourselves some new lines and start writing our new JavaScript code to solve this problem. Now, uh, the thing I love about Glitch is that we can use the show live, and that's what um, down here this is is meaning. So there's a show live button up here that'll open a new tab, and it will, um, you know, th this page itself is not that useful. But if you in your browser open up the console, oh, wrong console, and there we go. So you can see I, I default to just kind of giving you some exercise one, two, three, four, five, 
starts, and that's that's simply these console log statements here. So if we go look at index.html, what I've done is uh, that's the page you see when you click show live. That's just some really basic HTML. And the five exercises are already included on this page. Just trying to make things a little simple there so that you don't have to, you know, add them or go to five different pages to, to, to work on, on this. So you can simply open up an exercise file. And if I say console.log testing one, two, three, finish that statement. And I could come over here, glitch refreshes and saves every time I finish typing. And you can see my console.log statement here. So all this stuff on exercise one will appear after exercise one start and before exercise two start. And then if I go to exercise two and I start working on that and I just say, you know, console.log, one of these variables, so we'll say test five. Now I can see test fives. Uh, right there so that's um, that's how you work on the project you just you know try to try to solve these problems uh, in each of the files and you can kind of see what's happening after clicking this show live button and I'll open that new tab if you've got a widescreen monitor you can even do this kind of thing where you kind of have both of them open up side by side I, I like to do that because I do have a widescreen monitor so we kind of have that open up here um, and you know, do something kind of like this. Edit the code and say maybe I want to change that to test seven, and then you can see how it refreshes over here on the right, and um, and and like that. So when you are done, we're, we'll do kind of the opposite of how we started. So let's pretend I've solved all these problems. I'll come up here and go back to advanced options and go to export to GitHub. And then I want to export to the same place. It already pasted it in there, but the same repository uh, as before. We click OK. It's going to say what kind of commit message. And so this one's got some emoji and then updated with glitch. I'll click OK. And um, what will happen is once that export is successful, you can come over here. And this actually just kind of auto refreshed on me, too. If you don't see that, you can refresh. And um, Glitch has created a, something called a branch. We haven't talked a lot about Git yet, but um, a branch is, is simply the version here. And you can see that updated with Glitch, it's edited those files. And these are now ready to uh, turn in. So if you, you could do that as many times as you want. Every time you export, a new commit will be created. And then when you're all done, you can click this Compare and Pull Request button. And you can leave everything blank. We're going to talk more about Git later um, in the semester. This is simply going to take those two branches, merge them together, click Confirm Merge. And that is it. Now when I go in and see your project, I will see that you've done all that work. You've done all that merging. I, that's the great thing about GitHub is all of this stuff is logged so that you can know um, um, what, what you've been up to. It's, it's really handy. And that's it.